folks, Joe here, in the old week shop for another short video. Uh, as some of you already know by now, I'm in the process of shutting this place down entirely. I've got less than a week to go working from out here, and then I'll be uh, heading on for new adventures elsewhere, eventually setting up the new shop, which will be probably the focus of a pretty cool series of videos in itself. Anyways, tonight, I just want to talk real briefly about one of the tools that's held up for me really well over the years since I got it. My DeWalt DW734 thickness planer. It's a 12 and a half inch planer. And uh, 6 inches, yeah, 6 inches of height, 12 and a half inches of width. Uh, got any dust extraction right here. I hooked that up to a big shop back that you can't see, but it's right behind you. Core going up out of the way when not in use. Has a two-sided blade, which is changeable. You can take a, the dust cover off here and do a few bolts. Take it out, flip it over. You got a brand new blade on the other side. Has all the tools for that. Ah, let's see. Comes with these two tools. Now before I had this. I bought, uh, I went through some Mastercraft planers, which is sort of like your, uh, in the U.S., your Harbor Freight type stuff. So cheap, very economical, does not last forever. It's good if you're only doing something once in a while, but if you're doing some serious woodworking and using it a lot, they will wear out. I went through three of them in a matter of five or six years, and I bought one of these, and this has lasted me for several years, and it's going just like new. I uh, love this thing. Weighs 80 pounds, which is a good bit of weight, so I put it on this cabinet I picked up at a used store for five bucks. And on the bottom, you probably can't see it, but it's on an adjustable uh, rolling rack. Uh, you can lock down with two wheels on one side, get a nice solid platform, or you can just roll it around with one end pivot. It's easy to move around the shop, get it out of the way when I'm not using it. Uh, the wood of it is cutting. On my DeWalt table saw, before that again, the cheap version, Mastercraft, went through a couple of those, got this, awesome saw. So cutter here, cleaner here, then start the laminating. As you know, I've made a lot of paddles, canoe paddles, kayak paddles, also a lot of other things like uh, cutting boards, cheese boards. So the planer has gotten a, a good bit of use, it owes me nothing. I believe I paid around $550 for it. They're actually marked down right now, there's newer models in. This, I think, is actually maybe better than the newer model. The local woodworking store here in town where I get a lot of my stuff, they have both the new and the old ones. And they say they and a lot of their customers still prefer this one. Uh, the newer version, the 735, it doesn't even come to us the in-feed feed trays. This one, of course, does. But that said, I'm sure the other one has some advantages. Nice cutting head and all that. And this one does a really nice job. With sharp blades, I can run a cutting board through here and barely have to sand it afterwards. Awesome tool. Uh, let me plug it in for you briefly and turn it on. You can hear how loud it is. It is noisy, I will tell you that, but uh, we're at your protection. We're running any of the big, loud, noisy tools. Safety first. Uh, where are they? Here we go. I'm just going to pop these guys on, and then I'll turn this on for just a few seconds. As you can see, a little dust blowing out that was inside it from the last bit of it that went through it. I'm going to plug this before I do anything else with it. Roll the cord back up out of the way. The uh, height adjuster. Over here, that brings it up, that way brings it down. You have a depth gauge down here, tells you how much you're at. And you have an adjustable stopper here, it goes from basically a quarter inch clearance to three quarter inch clearance as presets. That is handy to have. Now, I set up uh, th this is actually getting picked up in the next two or three days. I've got a deposit on it right now. Uh, when I made the sale arrangement, I told the guy I still needed it for a few days to finish up a few projects. Uh, same with the bandsaw, it's right behind you that you can't see. Got a deposit on that. That's getting picked up on Sunday. Uh, it's Friday night right now. Tomorrow I'll be running the 
little more wood through the planer to shop the bandsaw, finish up with those those items. I uh, also finish up. I got some leftover wood over here. I got to cut, and make some parts, get that done. This will be ready to go. This will be ready to go. Bandsaw over here. I have a new miter saw I just bought in August. That also is going up for sale, even though it's practically new. A few other tools out here. I may do another video tomorrow. I'll talk about some of those. Uh, the planer. I'll be buying the same model when uh, I set up the new shop in the new year. Uh, they're currently on Amazon right now for considerably less than what I paid for it. So uh, $3.99 is an awesome deal. That's the price here in Canada. I'll have to check what the U.S. price is. And I'll leave links for both of those down below in the description box. And uh, if you're looking for a thickness planer, highly recommend this one, especially at the current price that they're on. Can't go wrong. DeWalt, as you know, I have a lot of their tools. Table saw, planer, miter saw over there you can't see. Off to the side here I have a DeWalt uh, cordless drill driver set. I have a cordless DeWalt palm sander, some DeWalt clamps, awesome stuff, highly recommend it. That's enough for now. I'm going to put the camera off and run a bit of wood through here and then I'm going to shut things down a little bit, pull something up on the big TV over here. Watch a couple videos, have a beer. It's been a very long day. Things are coming together for the move. I'll be in Winnipeg well, less, than, less than a week from now. So it's coming up real soon. i got a lot of work to do still out here to finish up things in the next few days. Then get stuff moved on to Winnipeg. And uh, eventually we'll start some videos over there. We'll do an adventure, show you the city. And then uh, a little bit later on, once I get the right space, setting up the new wood shop. That's right. Go over wood shop, volume two, coming up. Hit the subscribe button. That little red thing down the corner. You got it? Yeah, okay, thanks.